Hey, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and in this video, I want to talk about a recent update to the formula bar, and that's really about the font, where the formula bar pretty much now uses a monospace font. Monospace font in the sense that every character takes up the same width. Quoting from the article written by Chris Cross about this, he says, one, this will help to improve alignment and readability, error detection and visual passing, cross-platform consistency, where monospace fonts, when copied across different platforms, still maintain, you know, the same look and feel. This is also a direct lift from that article, where you have, you know, a formula that has been properly indented. This is what it looked like before, and I want everybody to notice that because you had a bracket here, which doesn't take up as much width as, you know, the other characters, you notice the misalignment. M isn't aligned with A and D, you know, it pretty much throws the alignment off. That's how it used to be when we didn't use a monospace font. And when you come down here, you can see that despite the fact that you have a bracket, M is well layered on top of R, N, and you pretty much can draw a straight line, you know, across that way. So that's the alignment and readability portion. But there's another part of it I want to talk about, which is the one I get to see a lot as, you know, an Excel trainer. Let me come in here and I will start by saying that anyone who has trained, you know, I would say beginners, you know, people who are just getting to use Excel or maybe getting to use the computer, you will have experienced this. You would find out what I'm referring to when I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I had a training recently and said, oh, okay, users, can you write this formula and just, you know, paste in the chat window what you've written? So now somebody sent this to me. Now look at this formula just where I have it. What I have done here is I've just put, you know, an apostrophe, you know, to start this up. So this is just looking like text. In terms of, you know, the logic of it, it's fine. That's not what I'm trying to focus on here. But the formula, you know, wasn't working. Wasn't working not in terms of giving the wrong result, but the syntax, you know, wasn't correct. And Excel wasn't accepting the formula. Yes, nothing obvious to me right now. Well, let's see what happens once I try to take away, you know, the apostrophe and turn it into an actual formula. What do you notice? You probably notice that the person was typing in single quotes in place of double quotes, and they are now very obvious. Look, these are single quotes, and you can see how they are spaced. I'm going to change it to a double quote so you see the difference. So look at the difference. So now it's very obvious to me what the problem is, that the user was typing in two single quotes instead of a double quote. And if you've ever taken a training where you've told people to put, you know, strings in double quotes, there is a high probability that somebody is going to do this. But with the new monospace font, you know, this was very obvious. So the moment I pasted it, you know, I could see that it was because of the two single quotes. We fixed that and, you know, the problem was solved. So that's the part I wanted to talk about. I know that there are more improvements that, you know, should come to the formula, but we're expecting from that. But this, you know, is a great one so if you like this video please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out